company, but also in our private lives and in our hearts. Be with us to grant these people honor and also to grant honor to you. We pray this according to the kindness of your character. Amen. Prior to the attack, there was not much said about the war on terror. The Twin Towers stood tall in New York City, and we are a nation relatively at peace. Yet far, far away from America, a terrible storm was gathering and growing and brewing. For our Navy, the Cole and her sailors and their families, our war uh, began October 12, 2000, at exactly 11.18 in the morning. The storm that had been gathering broke violently on our nation, our Navy, and our mighty warship, the USS Cole. One thing we must never forget, our shipmates who lost their lives were not just victims of some random acts of violence. They were United States Navy sailors, four deployed, who volunteered to serve their great nation and defend our freedoms when they were attacked. They were you, they were me, out on deployment doing our nation's business. They volunteered to serve our nation and our country. And it is that service and their sacrifice that we honor today. So that as President Abraham Lincoln said at Gettysburg, we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion. As we pause to remember the shipmates we lost and what they did and what they died for, it is also important to remember the actions of the crew that shaved our ship. Our ship was hit. It was hit hard that day. We just did our job. During the early days of the Second World War, General George Marshall was asked if America had a secret weapon to win the war. He replied simply, the best darn kids in the world. I truly believe that we're the best darn ship in the world, manned by the best darn sailors in the world. Coal is not a museum. She is an active warship, ready to meet mission each and every day. USS Peterson, when the planes crashed into the World Trade Center on 9-11, we were in our Palm period, about to deploy in a week. My parents were only a couple of blocks away from the turmoil in Manhattan, but luckily my son was safe in Queens. It was all very confusing and frustrating, and of course we were still deploying with no idea of what we would encounter overseas. San Diego, California. Benjamin Fireman, Joshua L. Parlett, Churchville, Maryland. Howard Roy, Keedysville, Maryland. Saunders, Ringgold, Virginia. Fireman, Gary Switchonis, Jr., Rockport, Texas. Lieutenant, Junior Grade, Andrew Tripolet, Sukwalik, Mississippi. Your honor, courage, and commitment. 